Hey guys, Stefan Fischer here from All Off Road. I'm here at beautiful Dun Swamp and in today's video I would like to give you a review of my Superpack Rapid Wing Deluxe six panel awning. Around two years ago, it was time for a new awning for me. And I did some extensive research for around three months, looking into different awnings and see what I would like to try on my vehicles. I ended up uh, with Superpack uh, for a few reasons. It is an Australian company. Superpack uses Australian canvas. Superpack manufactures nearly everything here in Australia. A bit over a year ago, I had the chance to pick up one of the Superpack awnings for the Land Cruiser and have a look at the Superpack manufacturing facilities on the Gold Coast. So let me quickly share that with you. So yeah, I'm here with Adrian from Superpack and he gives me a little bit of a tour, I reckon. Oh, yeah. Exactly. Awesome. Being Australian made, you know, awnings is obviously one part people know us for, we're obviously pegs. We do a lot of the poles, we do sort of framework for camper trailers, you know, we do replacements and still a lot of the Australian made camper trailers. So in this factory is where a lot of the uh, manufacturing happens, so we, one half of the shed is probably all of our tubular manufacturing from all the aluminium poles, steel poles, um, curved rafters, bending bows, that sort of thing, so it's all done here using multitude of presses and dies. All our plastic components are made here in-house uh, through a multitude of dies and materials tried and tested if something doesn't work we, we, we change the material to best suit so we have a lot of quality control in that aspect so we know what's in it at all times. So this side here is where we do a lot of our bulk storage and our, our awnings and fit up so we've always got to be in here getting some work done doing up a bit of a custom fit out for them um, so we'll do that as well in the installs. I had this tour just before Covid hit but how good is it to see that a company is still manufacturing everything in Australia I really love it. But next to manufacturing everything in Australia, also Superpack had quite a few features I really liked. Superpack was kind enough to provide me over the two years with three awnings, two for the Land Cruiser and then one here for the new Signature Deluxe camper trailer. And this is by far the biggest awning Superpack has. It is over 17 square meters of shade and I have to say it works absolutely brilliant. I absolutely love it. So let me show you a bit the features and why I like the Superpack awning in particular. The Superpack canvas is 100% Australian made. It is UV resistant. It has been treated for mildew. It is waterproofed and consists out of 275 gram canvas. One of the advantages of actually using canvas is that it is breathable. So it's not like a plastic cover or plastic canvas which will let no air in or out and it can actually become a bit more sticky um, under the awning. With the Superpack you don't have that. The Superpack bag size is great. It's not too big, it's not too small. You can pack everything easily together again. I like that the awning has built-in poles after my Bundu Tech, I really didn't want to have a poleless awning anymore. Look, a poleless awning is convenient and it's good for certain situations. But for example, we're camping here now for four days. Today, really, the wind picked up while we were on a walk. And if I had a poleless awning, I would have been uh, quite concerned and would have had to rush back. So. It takes a little bit longer, but the peace of mind is definitely worth it for me. The Superpack awning does have peggable feet and that is something I really like. So um, if you just set up for a day or so, I only peg the feet down. But in this case here for a few days, I used all the guy ropes and I'm glad I did because we had quite some wind gusts coming through here. Some of the other awnings around us flew away and this one no issue whatsoever. Yeah, I really like that the poles are built in, 
so it's easy to set up. You don't have an extra bag like I, for example, had with the Foxwing, where you then have an extra pole bag somewhere in the car you need to store somewhere. So this is all included here. I also like the guy ropes, especially the webbing guy rope Superpack has. Unfortunately, um, it did not come for every one of the guy ropes. So I have some normal guy ropes um, which came with Superpack, but it's also quite good they have a hook so are very easy to attach and deattach when you pack in um, but in particular i like the webbings and probably want to have a few more for here all the hinges are top quality in regards to the hinges they are plastic with super pack and i nowadays actually prefer that because i had a willy willy pick up one of my super pack awnings and flick it over really my fault it was in the desert and i didn't use sand packs because there was no wind until that willy willy came i was glad it was a plastic hinge which broke because i could get a quick replacement from super pack and it was fixed within a few minutes i now always carry one or two spare hinges all the aluminium poles are heavy duty and again made in Australia by Superpack. Superpack packs are probably the best value for money packs I reckon you can buy. And as you probably can imagine, Superpack, um, they start with pegs. So these are their own pegs, which is a pretty good design because you hammer it in the ground, your eyelid is in here, and then both of these parts actually are sunk in the ground. I do have some expensive snow peak pegs and they are great but at $20 a peg I think that's a bit uh, excessive. So the super peg pegs do their job brilliantly and are pretty nifty design and they're obviously included with the awning. There are quite a few small little details which made me choose super peg so let's go into that details. First of all, I like the setup of the Superpack awning, which is pretty straightforward. Even though this is not a poleless awning, for example, like the Bundotech I had in the past, but because the poles are included and just fold out and you have the peggable feet, setup is really very quick. And it can definitely be achieved by one person. However, in heavy wind, it's probably good to have another set of hands. I would have a gap here between the awning, but that's velcro then you get that extra strip put that up here and that means no rain coming in there on the other side you have the part of this cover block set up so pretty impressed one of the many little details of the super pack awnings is really the attention to detail you see that there is a little flap here inside uh, the cover which i reckon protects all of this here and holds it tighter together so yeah all these little things really make a big difference in uh, the super pack stuff in my book the heavy duty canvas has an additional pvc reinforcement on all wear areas I really like the eyelid attachments for the guy ropes and the included guy ropes come with hooks so that makes setup very quick and easy. Each of the canvas panels has its own eyelid. That means under heavy wind or rain you can also strap down the canvas itself and not just where the poles are. This also prevents any possible water pooling in heavy rain. The vertical poles are permanently attached to the horizontal poles via joint and they tuck up to the horizontal poles so it's easy to pack away. Like for most awnings you can have extension walls. I have two extension walls. I usually always use one uh, to block out where the fridge is but in really bad weather or if there's a lot of wind I put two awnings on because then I can also put all the swags and the stretcher under the awning and we can sleep under the awning. The walls are not made out of canvas but out of a polyester fabric which is perfectly fine for me for walls. They are not flimsy, they still have a, a reasonable thickness but uh, that means they are fairly light, they're easy to pack away and easy to store. The overall weight of the Superpack Rapid Wing Deluxe 6 is 23 kilogram. So it is lighter than, for example, the Bundutech. Uh, it, I think it was 35, 
but a little bit heavier than the Foxwing, but also you, you absolutely cannot compare it to a Foxwing in regards to canvas quality, build quality, and how well thought through the Superpack awning is. So my overall verdict is that I'm very happy with the Superpack awnings. Um, I don't see me changing in the foreseeable future to anything else. I love them on the Land Cruiser. I really love them here on that trailer. And to be honest, without that big awning, I think it would be very different here with the trailer. So thanks a lot for watching, guys. I hope you got something out of this review. And as always, it would be greatly appreciated if you like, subscribe, share, and maybe you even would like to help me uh, creating the content for you. Head over to Patreon, become one of my Patreon supporters. And with the equivalent of a cup of coffee or two, per month you can really help me out and help me to stay independent. So long and I hope to see you along the tracks.